Okay, so now we're on the way to. Alright, I'm going downstairs to grab Chris. And then we'll go to Copenhagen Street Food. So we get to try the things we haven't yet. Still snowing. Okay, we're on our way to Copenhagen Street Food. Again. 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 But I mean, this is the first time that I'm actually putting it on this camera and I'm not using any of the footage from the other ones. From the other times we go. It's snowing. It's snowing pretty good. The goal is to get one thing that we've never tried and then just other things if we're hungry. Okay. We're just about to it. Here's some some boat things. Oh. And also in this area, there's a there's a like a I don't know a group of design firms kind of, but designing for clothes and architecture and stuff. And they operate immediately out of here. Like a Tommy Hilfiger has some stuff here. Um, Calvin Klein, too. See right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. CC. Have you had CC's all you can eat pizza? What? Have you had CC's all you can eat pizza? Well, yeah. So we got some seagulls. They like art here in Denmark. So they put their seagulls all over the place. You're mega in my shot. <laughs> and then over there, some art installation that we walked through. It's pretty weird. And then there's the opera house right on the water. Oh, and here's our favorite. Yoko Ono. She has an art installation right here. Where you get to write. You get to write on these little pieces of paper. For wishes. Oh wow, there's like nobody here tonight. No, That's pretty cool. No one wants to bring. No. So here is a place, and essentially, a best, like, I guess the best way to describe it is like a small community of street vendor style places where you can come and get food. It's pretty cool. That's what it is. Oh, uh, that's why they. Uh... That's why they set it on fire. Yeah. So these donuts we saw last time, um, they would take them. Cover them in sugar and then set them on fire, but the sign wasn't up, so we didn't know why they were being lit on fire. It just kind of looked cool, right? But now we know why. The creme brulee. So it's sticking with the tradition. Okay, so this is what we came for. The open face sandwiches. Smoked salmon. That's one that I'm looking at, the smoked salmon one. Since I guess I... I guess I haven't had any fish since I've been here. I was thinking about some time too. And what's this one? A fried cod? That looks pretty good too. It's a very oddly shaped lemon. See, like, I don't know how much... It's like refreshing. You get a lot of the smoked salmon. You get whatever these sauces are. The other stuff I really can't identify, but it's good. Here's ball. This little ball that I take around with me. That's one of my. I'm not talking to you. Uh. <laughs> and acts as a companion, basically like a Wilson. 
So now Ball has visited the street, the street, the street, restaurants, Copenhagen street food. So here's the hot dog place, and it's a pretty good deal too. 49 kronen for a hot dog. I had it once before and it was really good. So I'm gonna have it again. Oh, and there's Disco Cow. Is it lower? It looks lower. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's how Disco Cow works. Have a good meal, guys. Where do you wanna go? Very good. This is also made of wood. Now I want to drink. Want to get a beer? It's quite cold out. Yeah. Probably never again. Oh, look at that doggy. It's fine by me if we never have this again. Hi, doggy. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, the canals. How majestic and old traditional, we could say. That's why, always at a dock, where there's sailors from all over the world, you can always find a Hong Kong nightclub. <laughs> They're open 21 to 5. Yeah. So we're going to walk to Norport, which is that way. Or no, that Th that way. It's like where all the shopping is. I'm just interested to see what it looks like while it's snowing. <laughs> Mine's better. Oh, yeah, okay, how long is that one? It's pretty good length. Yeah. Oh. 